Hello, and welcome to The Monster Painter. This week, I take on a bunch of WizKid blister packs of uh, dungeon stuff. Fun things to fill out your dungeon terrain. And watch till the end of the video for your last chance to enter to win a fabulous piece of Monster Painter swag. Who doesn't want their very own Monster Painter math rock bag? And here we go. A bunch of WizKid deep cut blister packs. I picked them up from about five to six dollars each over the course of a few years. Uh, every time I go into a game store, I feel like I gotta walk out with something. Otherwise, what's the point in walk of walking in? So I often pick up these nice inexpensive uh, little blisters that contain all sorts of wonderful uh, terrain and fiddly bits. And I, of course, love terrain and fiddly bits. And uh, the pile has piled up, so it's time to get these uh, out of their blisters and onto the painting table. And so, let's do it. Oops, I almost forgot to open this one. This one's my favorite. It has a mirror and a bird. Okay, now for a closer look. Here's that bird in the mirror. I think they're going to be a lot of fun. We got a lean-to and a tent for uh, those rustic settings. A altar in three parts. I'm not sure if I'm going to assemble it or not. Uh, a post with some varying bits to make whatever kind of post you want. A table and a bunch of gribblies. Love the gribblies. Finally, a rust monster and a pile of rusty junk. So I decided to go with a lamp for my post. The other bits will go into the, the gribbly bit box. I don't think I'm going to assemble the altar. I kind of like it uh, in pieces. It has more utility. And for my uh, workbench, I'm going to uh, paint up this part and the rest can go into the gribbly box as well. Here we go. The uh, base coats are all slapped down and they're starting to come along. Got some progress. These things really paint up really nicely and really quickly, I found. Uh, not a lot of uh, fancy techniques, just some uh, pretty simple, straightforward painting, and the results are really starting to come in. Here's a quick look at the underside of that lean-to. Okay, well, now I'm going to try something fancy. Mirrors uh, always represent a bit of a challenge to represent graphically. Uh, it's not easy to make a mirror look convincing unless it's super shiny and reflective. The approach I'm going to take is to try to create a haunted mirror. I'm going to do this by painting the, the base of the mirror black and then using iridescent paints uh, that's those uh, shimmery, shiny, color-shifting paints. I'm going to uh, f try to do the scariest thing in modeling, model painting, which is I'm going to try to freehand a little, uh, a little ghost into the mirror and thus make it a haunted mirror. And, um, well, let's see if I can pull this off. And here is the result. I think it's pretty convincing, perhaps not my greatest work, but it definitely looks like a haunted mirror. And uh, the stylish wizard knows that the best dressed familiar is a magpie because everything else is just a crow. I decided not to glue together my dark altar. I thought it'd be more fun to keep it in separate pieces. I mean, really, look at all the fun those evil cultists are having. The workbench uh, turned out quite nice, looking nice and weathered, and I decided not to glue on the uh, tool kit. Uh, I think I'll keep it separate as it'll make a nice clue marker or treasure token. Every barbarian knows that tents are uh, for sissy wizards, and a proper barbarian would never sleep in such a thing. No barbarians prefer the rustic charm of a lean-to, the kind of accommodation you can scrounge up at the side of the road. Perfect. There is only one thing that knights in shining armor fear, and it's that dreadful beast that will take the shine off that armor. Finally, we have that little lamppost. 
which is destined to be an innocuous part of an ordinary little village. And here are all the final results all together. And I think they look great. Everything painted up uh, really nice and quickly with using simple techniques. And I'm very pleased with the results. I think they look great and they're going to make some excellent uh, texture for my tabletops. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. You must want some genuine Monster Painter swag. Well, in order to enter to try to win this beautiful uh, math rock bag, all you have to do is leave a comment in the comment section below. Maybe tell me what you'd like to see in a future video or uh, tell me what you thought of this video. And then I'm gonna put all the names in a hat and pull the winner's name out on April 12th. And uh, that person will get a fabulous math rock bag. So leave a comment, please leave a comment. Next week, through the power of temporal distortion, I paint up the Bones 6 Zombies. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell. Ring the bell!